and we're into week three post-surgery and I cannot believe it's only been three weeks. It feels like so much longer because so much has happened since my surgery and as you can see, out walking, so much less pain, mobility is a hell of a lot better, walking further, walking is more enjoyable. So that's a really, really good positive thing I've noticed over the last few days. However, today I want to talk about something that I've been experiencing over the last two or three days, and that's dehydration. Now, I want to cover in this video the warning signs and what to look out for, because this came as quite a shock to me because I wasn't aware of what the signs were. And then secondly, what to do about it. So it was started off about three days ago. I started feeling unusually fatigued, quite weak. I had a banging headache 24 seven and my output had changed. So the past couple of videos I've talked about getting blockages. However, in the last week, especially liquids, they have just been going straight through me out into my bag. So my morning coffee, teas, liquids, water, everything would just be coming straight through me. And I was like, hmm, okay, that's interesting. But because of the blockages, I was happy and just <laughs> grateful that things were coming out quite easily. However, a few days down the line, and in particular yesterday, I felt so dizzy to the point where every time I stood up, my vision would go and things would go a little bit dark and I wouldn't faint, but I definitely felt like I was nearly fainting every time. And that dizziness would last whenever I stood up. I had this weird like confusion. I couldn't concentrate when I was trying to work. I just felt really disorientated. And I was like, this is new <laughs> again. And I just call my stoma nurse. And that's one of the really important things about having a good support system post-surgery. So if anything like this happens, you can turn to your nurse and go, I'm feeling this way, I'm experiencing this. Can you advise me what to do? And she said, yeah, it sounds like you're dehydrated. And what that means is having an, a stoma, we are more at risk of getting dehydrated because of the fact that liquids can just move through our body and come out into the bag rather than getting absorbed into the body systems and the urinary system because it doesn't have the colon. The colon is where the majority of the water is reabsorbed out and back into the body. So number one, we're more at risk. Number two, the warning signs, like I just described, the main ones are, if your output changes and you're getting a really liquidy high output, that's a sign you're losing too much water. Headaches, dry mouth, dizziness, lightheadedness, dry skin, and like dry eyes, feeling really faint and feeling really confused and disorientated and lacking in energy. They're the main warning signs, which I was definitely experiencing, but I just didn't pick up on them. And then secondly, what to do about it. So we're losing too much water, which means we're losing certain electrolytes and in particular, sodium and potassium. Now the main solution for this is to drink drinks with had added electrolytes in them. So things such as sports drinks, Gatorade, Powerade, or you can get those sachets that are good for rehydration, things such as Hydrolyte, Diorolyte, whatever they're called in your country. But also if they're not working, because I was taking the sachets, I was taking Diorolyte every day. My stoma nurse told me about something called St. Mark's solution, and this can be more effective then drinking those sports drinks or the sachets. And what this is made up of is glucose powder, sodium bicarb or sodium citrate and salt. And you make up a liter of cold water and mix all these ingredients together. And you'd make up a liter and drink that over the course of the day and then make up the remaining 500 to 700 mils of your normal drinks like teas, coffees, water, squash. So what I will do, I'll post the recipe in the comments below 
and kind of the steps and tips that you need to take. And I'm on day two of this now, so I'll let you know how I'm feeling after two days of St. Mark's Solutions. But I was told this is a very good way to quickly get your hydration back up and to stop those symptoms. Now, <laughs> every week is something different, and this is exactly why I'm sharing these videos, just to show you what, hap what could happen, my experiences, and hopefully give you some tips and advice on how to deal with them if they were to happen to you too. So fingers crossed St. Mark's Solution is going to work for me and I'm going to carry on with my walk. Such a gorgeous morning.